Hi guys, Steffi here and welcome back to the channel. Right, today I've got another little tutorial for you. Um, I don't know if you can remember when I made these little folios um, on a previous video. Um, I've done the Alice one and then with these on camera I've done this beautiful Wizard of Oz one. And obviously it has this little journal on the inside where it's just got a few little page, uh, coffee dye pages in there. You've got a pocket with another little notebook in that you can write little bits in and then the back and obviously the front and the back do have pockets like that so I'm going to come on today and show you how to make one of these it's an envelope journal and I did follow a tutorial by the wonderfully talented Rosa Kelly here on YouTube I will leave the link in the description bar below to her video um, but this time we're going to make one to go in this Alice one here this is actually going out as a gift to somebody and I've been putting it off for long enough just with work and everything like that it's been such so crazy right so the first thing you want to need is three envelopes they can be any size you want these ones are smaller than the ones I used in the Wizard of Oz these measure four and a quarter by six and a quarter and I love these these are the ones I got off Amazon and they've got that beautiful beautiful gold foiling on the inside Okay, so you need three. Now, on one of them, all I've done is I've cut a little sliver, like literally this much off the end, just to turn that into a pocket. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the, the one that you've made into a pocket and slide that inside that first one. Okay. And then this last one, you're just going to pop in here again and then just lie that flat. And you just want to turn it round and make sure that it's all nice and flush. I think that's okay for me because this bit is just going to come over and it's going to attach it. Okay, so if you leave them like that and then turn this one over, what you want to do is you just want to run some glue, just a thin bead down here just to basically seal that pocket. Okay, so I'm going to come in with some of this and hope, hopefully this one will stick. And then just press that down. Doesn't matter if any oozes out, you can just this glue dries clear anyway, so that's okay. It's really quick and easy. Um I haven't done any like the full flip outs on these pages because I literally had three um of my coffee dye papers left and that was it. Oh honestly it's been oh that one job was coming out that one. That one hasn't been glued properly. Oh yeah, and then what we do here as well, on the back one, you do exactly the same and apply some glue just to secure that first envelope in place and then just press that down. And then we can take off the seal of the envelope and then just apply glue all over here and then this will act as the closure so everything will be bound together nicely and then you could use double sided tape just yeah so you just want to line that up make sure everything lies nice and then just press that down okay we're going to cover this anyway so you're not going to see any of this join here I'm getting glue all over. The glue's good, but it's a pain. So then what you're left with. One second, there's my door. Right, sorry about that. Um, parcel came for me. Well, it wasn't for me, it was for my sister. Um, but yeah, so when we left off, we had this. So you've got a pocket at the front. You've got the pocket in the middle. And then you have the pocket at the back. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the pages. So I took some of my coffee dyed paper and I just cut this down to, I think it was eight, I check. yeah I cut it down to eight by six and then I've just folded them in. Like I said I haven't got any flaps on this one because I didn't have enough to do this and the little inner one. So that's what I've done. I always made it a little bit smaller so it doesn't come out of the sides okay so that just goes in that first part like that now you could measure this if you wanted to 
I've just got some of my red um, embroidery thread that I bought from Amazon and I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to push through that straight with the needle. Just keeping them all together. And then just so it comes out like that. Okay. And then just push that through. And keep the whole your pages. And then you just want to come back in. Now we're on my side. Yeah. So then you just want to come back back in and about I'm going to say around about here I'll put a little hole in and see if that's going to go right the way through I'll see I must need to keep these you could clip these pages which is what really I should have done actually what I might do is I might punch the hole from this side because then I know it's going wet in the right place. Then you just want to come back through in that hole. We're getting this in shot. And then back through the inner pages. And then just pull that through. So obviously I don't need all of oh, sorry guys. I don't need all of that. That should be yeah, that's quite I'm quite happy with that. And then you just want to take it and you just want to tie this in a knot. I always do a double knot to be fair, just to make sure that it's secure. Um, you don't want the pages falling out. You don't have to use embroidery thread, you could use just normal thread, you could use elastic, you could use whatever you want on here. Um, I thought I'd try this out, it feels lovely actually, this um, embroidery thread. Really, really nice. And then just cut that off like that. I'm going to leave the needle threaded because I will need that later. So then, what you have is the basis. That's your first part here. Okay. And then before we, I think we'll decorate it first actually, and then we'll go on to the last part that we need to do. So what I've getting is these are a couple of mats here. Actually, I haven't. I might need to pause the video because I need to get my distress ink out. Um, so I have three pieces here that measure four by six, and then I have three pieces here that measure six by three, and then I've just got this to go on that page. I'm just going to embellish it with. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video. I'm going to get my distress oxide, and then I'll be right back. Right, so I've come back. I've started decorating it. So obviously you've got your front cover there with one of the 4B6s. And then on this one, I haven't covered the flaps because I really, really like the fact that gold peeking through there. So I've got, I've went ahead and I've started a couple. I've stuck that drink me bottle on there. I think that looks really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do these ones. So I'm going to have these two like that. So I'm just using the tape on there. These things are like heaven sometimes. So most of the time, I just don't know. Once still my card, it seems to be not working the best, and I don't know why. Oh, and then just bring that round, and we'll just pop that on there like that. I love these papers; absolutely gorgeous got that one there and obviously that's where your pocket's going to be and then just go ahead and I'll quickly do these ones on you with you we've only got two more to do make sure it's the right way and then again we're just going to pop that one oh. Try to get it straight. Just have to pull it to me a little bit. I think that'll be okay. So I just look how beautiful it is. And then this one here is going to go on the back with where I'm at here. It wouldn't be an Alice um, journal, would it, if we didn't have that somewhere in there?
very good paper when you're using these tape runners you can just keep hold of the corner just when you're rolling it down and I found it doesn't it's less likely to tear your paper because sometimes it can so what was that about yep just going to stick that down like that so that's all of our decoration done and I think I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how that looks I think it looks lovely hope the recipient will too so now all we've got to do is make the little journal to go inside okay this is really really simple and um, I've done all the prep work already so again I got another piece of the pattern paper and I've just cut it down to size and because this was printed on the paper I've just backed it onto some card and this measures seven by five inches and then I've just obviously went around the edges there with the Distress Oxide photo, uh, Vintage Photo Ink. And then these are the offcuts from the other pages. And that's why I didn't do flaps, so I had enough to do this. And these measure six and a half by, I think that's supposed to be five. Yeah, I think it is five. So then all you want to do is you just want to fold them in half. Obviously you didn't do this with the other ones because they were already done. Um, I need to do some more of my coffee dye paper or even my tea dye paper. This is literally the last of it. Went through such a phase of using it all the time. So then you just want to fold them all inside of each other. Okay, just like that. So they're ready to go in. And then with this as well, if you just fold this over, you can score it if you want. Um, you just need to score it straight down the middle, but I'm just going to fold it in half, just works just as well. So then let's see if I've got these right. So then that's going to go in there like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, what I should have done with the first one, is I'm going to actually hold them in place with me. Oh, I've got a paper clip here. Oh, I've got a bind clip as well. So I'm just going to hold that there. And then I've got this paper clip. Just pop that there. And then I'm going to use my needle. So I'm going to use the same red embroidery gloss. And I'm just going to make some holes in there. And so that so it just comes out like that. And that's about what how far I've gone up from the side. Um Maybe it's about five eighths of an inch. You can just bind them wherever um, you want. I just normally just do it wherever, to be fair. Um, just wherever I think it looks right. You could do them on the centre. They don't have to be top and bottom. And then that one's gone through there. Okay. So we'll actually just go through that one. Just take your, your needle through with your thread. And then again, like we did on the other one, just come back back in that one just like that it's like really easy and get that through and again you don't need loads and loads so we just take that needle off there and then we're just going to tie this just the same as we did the other one now these are really easy i mean i'm probably making it look more complicated than what it is um because of me it's not being prepared properly um, but yeah, I mean, I think they look absolutely fab. I'm going to leave them ones a little bit longer. Take my clips off. Pick it up. Make sure it's the right way. And then I'm just going to go over it again with the bone folder. And then in there you have a couple of little pages there that you can use as well. So then just for an extra little bit of decoration, I've got this little Drink Me banner that I think looks really nice. So I'm just going to pop that on there. So I don't want anything to um I have to use my tape on it. I haven't used anything like two dimensional because I'm quite conscious that it's got to sit inside of that with a little folder. So then I think just pop that about there. And there we go. That is our little journal. I was going to add some lace, um, but I can't find it, to be honest, um, my black lace. But I, to be honest, I don't think it needs it. I think it looks really nice just how it is. So then if we bring this one back in, 
You will see some of that in there, but that doesn't bother me too much. I hope it doesn't bother anybody else. I'll pop it in. I'm going to pop it in that way so the title's on the other side. Pop it in back to front. And then that just sits in there like that. Like I said, you could cover this more if you don't want that to be shown. But like I said, I don't mind. I think it looks really nice. So then let's come in with our folio. And then all that's left for that now is to sit in there like that. So you've got your little place to journal about the photos that you keep on here. Okay. And then obviously, like I said, you can add photos everywhere else. This one, I didn't add any ribbon to. Um... But I might use some ribbon just to tie it up to send it or some twine or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but the person who's receiving it knows um, it's got no ribbon. And yeah. So that is um, my um, tutorial for this envelope mini album. It's so quick and easy. You could make these in no time at all. You really, really could. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did... Um, please just remember to like, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to all my videos. Thank you very much. Bye.